Hello, in this video we're going to talk about the cross product. We'll begin with some preliminary ideas. The first thing we want to talk about is the determinant of a 2x2 two two matrix. To compute the determinant of a 2x2 two two matrix, we multiply the elements on the diagonals. So that would be a A11 times an A22. And then we multiply the elements on the other diagonal subtracting A21, A12. And we'll do that in a sample calculation below. For the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix, we will expand along the top row. So I'm going to begin with the A11, and I've written that here. So we have an A11 times the determinant of the 2 by 2 after we remove the row and column that the A11 entry lives in. So we've got the determinant of A22, A23, A32, A33 minus, now we'll use our second entry in that first row, minus a12, so that's the entry in the first row, second column, times the 2 by 2 matrix, the determinant of the 2 by 2 matrix after removing row 1 and column 2. So that'll be the determinant of A21, A23, A31, A33. And I need to keep going on the second line here, so I'm just going to put a dot, 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 so we continue on to the next line. The last expansion we need to do is A13, times the determinant of the 2 by 2 matrix that's left over after removing row 1, column 3. And that little 2 by 2 looks like an A. A22, A22, A31, and an A32. Okay, let's work all of that out. So the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix looks like A11 times, computing our determinant here, we have an A22, A33 minus an A32, A23 minus A12 times our little 2 by 2 determinant here. That gives us an A21 and an A33 minus an A31, A22, plus A13 times A21, A32 minus A 3, 1, A, 2, 2. Okay, so why is that useful? Well, the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix is useful because that's how we define our cross product. So let's take a look at that. So let A be a vector with three components, A sub 1, A sub 2, and A sub 3. Let vector B be a vector with three components, b sub 1, b sub 2, and b sub 3. The cross product of a and b is a cross b, and it's given as the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. The first row is i, j, k, second row a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, and the third row b sub 1, b sub 2, and b sub 3. So let's work out what that would be. Again, we'll expand on our top row. So what we have is we have i times the determinant of the little 2 by 2 matrix that's left over after removing row 1 and column 1. So that works out to be a 2 b 3 minus b 2 a 3 and that's times unit vector i. Next, let's look at the J component. So we need negative 
times the little 2 by 2, the determinant of little 2 by 2 that's left over after removing row 1 and column 2. So that would be A1 times B3 minus B1 A3 times J plus, and I'll go on to the next line here, for our K component we will have a1 b2 minus b1 a2 times k. So that's the definition of our cross product and I'd like to do an example. So let's find a cross b for vector a given by 1, 3, 4 and vector b given by 2, 7, negative 5. Okay, so let's do it. We've got a cross b it's the determinant of the 3 by 3 matrix. Top row is i, j, k. Second row consists of the components of a, 1, 3, 4. And the second, excuse me, the third row consists of the components of b. When we work that out, we'll get the determinant of this little 2 by 2. So we'll have 3 times negative 5 minus 7 times 4 and that's sitting on the i component. Minus, let's see what's happening for our second component with j. So we'll delete row 1, column 2 and look at the little 2 by 2 that's left over. The determinant there would be 1 times negative 5 minus 2 times 4. I'll go on to the second row here. For k, after removing row 1, column 3, we have a little 2 by 2. The determinant there would be a 1 times 7 minus a 2 times 3, all times k. And let's clean this up. For I, let's see, we're going to have negative 15 minus 28 and that gives us negative 43 I. Next, we have a negative 5 minus 8, so that would be negative 13 and then the negative out in front, that gives us a positive 13j. And lastly, we have a 7 minus 6 that gives us 1k. So I could just write that as k or 1k either way. So you can write this with the ijk or you could also write this with the angled bracket notation negative 43, 13, 1.